I didn't have space in November 2007. Here we are in July 2007. Honestly, entering the of the wiper. When it comes to this side, it'll it'll. Look so With the 3D printing, you can actually directly um, print the shape that you want without first having to make the mold. And that's, that's where it not only uh, aesthetic, aesthetically uh, is an interesting technique because you actually have a density of printing that you later see in the product, but it's also uh, very economically because you save time uh, and energy. My personal approach of 3D printing, building construction, is using 3D printing as a start basis uh, of making freeform cages and from there move on with the traditional construction technique. Well, what is important is that we uh, discovered how to make an endless building and what uh, makes the design fit for a beautiful landscape is that uh, once you put this structure in the situation, um, the entrance of the building goes underneath the building. So basically the, the whole landscape is continuous, remains continuous uh, like it was before. And the building itself is, is continuous within itself. And the beauty is, um, part of the beauty of this building is that it, they, it doesn't have any uh, walls. So it's, uh, it just has a floor and a ceiling. And you can completely look through. So uh, from many angles, all you will see is the landscape in front and the landscape behind the building. The most important thing is that you, that you can make any shape you want. Uh, it, it doesn't matter how complex the shape is, it can be built. And um, I, it's, it's my experience that uh, you, you've got a lot of extra freedom in, in uh, thinking about uh, designs uh, when you can make use of uh, the 3D printing technique. This structure would best function as a, as a small museum for sculptures because you have a great rooting. Uh, the sun will have, have an immense uh, role in the, in the design. And I think it would be really nice to have sculptures like Rodin sculptures uh, that you can walk around and 
of course it's nice if the public would be able to enter this building and and um, freely move through it and and enjoy it instead of uh, it being a very private uh, sort of structure.